Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes.
appreciate this shit. Shit, Pop! I have eyes on the target. Damn, I ain't got much time left.
It's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Stay calm, lady. Oh, chill. Oh, shit. Ah! Rape! I'm being raped! Oh. You gotta watch out, oh, fool. Homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State license. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Why do we see if this thing picks up my man on the ground? 
like your exposure. What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. One time I'll pick a brother up for any old shit. You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Dude, we looking for us down that way. I'll follow in the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You want to bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway. We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please. Come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that.
say, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. Suspect sighted going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect going west down alley toward El Arancho. You see him? Car going north on El Rancho. might be worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Just take it and chill out! My baby... Mr. Clinton. Hey, Mark, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit. 
and I spared this motherfucker. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? I'll tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh, man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man, I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go.
got off lucky, homie. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. Want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Girl, you won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. for 10 bucks. You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie. Why you bailing? Attention, passengers. Please hold on to you. Shit, you know how it is. Green light? Good to go.
Ah, uh, everything hurts. Coolio, baby! Shit. It's just a ah! car! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. 
Or does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! If you need anything, get me on the headset. Observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. See the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. T if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet!
Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
Jesus. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods, you know what I'm saying. Good job. 